Watch, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning, lest he suddenly and find lest lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Sue, if you could lead us in the confession of sin, please. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen, strengthen us uh, in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our and lips. Our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia, the spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him, alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Call up today's song. David, if we could call upon you for today's psalm, please. This is Psalm number 80. Here. O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock, shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angered despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand the son of man you have made so strong for yourself. And so will we never turn away from you. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Dave, if we could have the reading from Isaiah, please. Isaiah 64. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down. The mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways, but you were angry and we sinned because you hid yourself, we we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls upon your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us 
and had delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O oh Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. Lord of Lord. Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will be called blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help the presence, the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the father and to the son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Pastor Moder, if I could call upon you to read today's gospel, please. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the 13th chapter. Jesus said, in those days after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Lord of man coming in clouds with great powder and glory that he will send out angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each of his work and his commands and the do do doorkeeper to be on watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the morning or at midnight or at co cro cock crow or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And when I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. The gospel of the Lord. Grace to you, Lord Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we didn't have this one. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So today we come to the season of Advent. In the many different ways we celebrate Christmas, Advent seems to be the one that isn't very popular on the voting where, but it is important for us to be looking at what we really are coming to when once again we come to the place where we celebrate with joy the coming of Christ into the flesh, the wonderful thought that God loves us and God will be with us in all that is happening. Yes, there are many things happening around about us. They're not 2000 years old either. Think for a moment how much has been taken away from us in this Christmas season 
because of the many things that we see. Our nation half broken because of no one can get the same thing together. Um, our own stores and whatnot, we can't go to get to them because we're not supposed to be breathing and that's true. And all the other things that are around us seem to be not very exciting to us this year, at least they're not to me. For me, the Christmas decorations still stand down in the basement and that's a good place for them because I don't know when I'm gonna have the real energy to get them, get them done. And that maybe if we're not careful can become a part of our worship and our prayers also. This is not just a time uh, to get to see this, that, or the third thing. It's a time to renew our thought about prayer, a time to know that there are those who are in need of what we who are so rich have, to understand that unless we do those things, this really is not something that God gives us the go for. So let's think for a bit as we continue uh, this season of Advent, Advent by the way of the coming. Let's do what we want to do and those things that make us feel so wonderful. But let's make sure that the one that's at the beginning of them and the end is the Jesus Christ and his name and those who follow him. Yesterday, we were driving around a bit and it looked. I looked up at a light sign, not a light sign, but one of the uh, one of the uh, stoplights, and on next to it was a big thing, and on it was a little card like this. And I happened to look up at that little card, and that little card said something that, um, that I want to be sure. Hmm? Oh, Jesus Christ to elect. <laughs> Jesus Christ elect him. Isn't that interesting? It would be wonderful if we did. Kind of tacky, I suppose. But electing him would be a great thing. Isn't going to happen, folks, except that God's opinions is going to be with you. God will be with you in word as you continue to worship. God will be with you in remembrance, or maybe not that we can do, but the remembrance amongst others that we have been baptized and God knows us by name. And then finally, the gathering together in worship. And now we can even say the gathering together in worship. And as we will now also be able to receive the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. So. Stay awake, good friends. Remember, there are things out there and people who are in need, and there you need yourself to take some time away from all the bustling and running around. And then we will focus on what really is important, and that is the Christ who comes among us and every, every day, that he might walk with us in joy and walk with us in sorrow and keep us as witnesses to how wonderful Christmas is for us because may we do that in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Mike, Dan. Lead us in the Apostles' Creed, sir. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Soon, please lead us in the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages for today are suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our and hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Colic for today, almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the people of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we pray today for the prayer of mission. Um, under the Anglican cycle of prayer from the day by day, we pray for the Diocese of the Lusitanian Church in, in Portugal. We pray for our mother church, St. James and St. James. We pray for our big sister church, Caroline Church. We pray for St. Gerard of De Mejia, where we donate our food. We pray for the Methodist Church, from Don Estes Church, who helps lead the morning prayer. And we pray for the Church of the Nativity. And um, there are two churches, which I'm going to get the names from Patricia that I'm supposed to pray for as well. So we pray for uh, those two churches. Patricia always reminds us to pray for them. We pray for the Church of Nativity, and we pray for Raleigh, and we pray for the um, All Souls people, ministers, and volunteers of All Souls. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplication and prayers, which we may offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We pray today for the sick and suffering, recognizing those you've asked us to pray for and asking for God's healing. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants. We pray for Betsy Palmetto, Jane and Jack Feigl, Don Estes, Charlie Fenich, Frank Downs, Father David Gable, Pastor Motor, Bonnie Cassidy, Richard C. Almash, Gladys Henderson, Anna Kerr Good, Jeff and Dennis Kerr, Jim Dane, Sharon Rinney, Jill Algate, Delina Downs, Kathy Clark, Neil Boyle Sr., Frankie Cardamone, Marie Roman, Anna Madison, Ted Esser, and the Esser family. Bessie Nardu, Jeff McLaughlin, Bev Tyler, Bruce and Lori Lockerbie, Ashley Witt, April Kerr Valentine, Maureen Gargiulo, Claude Wigan, Ken Edwards, Fred Todd, Deborah Ania, Trudy Roman, Alan and Lois Schneider, Dana Swanson, Elizabeth Gator, Gary Doyle, Rosemary Fischetti, Barbara and Tony Matassas, people affected by the California wildfires and the hurricanes this year and those who are alone for the holidays. Dear Lord, we ask you to give your power of healing to those that minister to their needs, that they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care through Jesus Christ, Amen. our Lord. Pray today also for the departed, those who have joined the community of saints. O oh God, by the glorious resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and death and brought life and immortality to light. Grant that your servant. We pray for Lorinda Wallstein, Larry Swanson, Patrick Huber, Michael Gata Sr., Erna Monez, Claire Nichols-White, Teresa Leibowitz, Judy Estes, Carol Richardson, 
D Downs, John Fink, Sandy Redfield, Joe Pistel, Canon Wet, Ed Wisbauer, Father Jim Spotter, Mother Ann Plummer, Patricia Latore, Clara Potenza, Helen Murphy, Bill Hudson, Jean Roman, Edna and Erasto Velasquez, Val Velasquez, Madison, Kelly Bogar, Herb Wilson, Richard J. Almash, Alita Hare, Barbara Dolinger, Dan Hennessy, Dorothy and John Donnelly, Bob and Vivian Kerr, Alvira Vanderpool, Joseph Orlando, um, Noel, Kathy and Joanne Kerr, Florence Allen, Ann Weber, William and Fran Ward, Max Wheat, Barbara Hoffman, Dwight Powers, Rebecca Connolly, Dennis Madison, Daryl Blasberg, Richard Colazzo, Mark Pouts, Jennifer Quantana, Pearl Limmer, and Arnold Edwards. Also pray today for Noreen Menzi, for Father Joseph Runder, and for Frederick Kerr. Being raised with him may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and Amen. ever. So if you could lead us in the call for the Holy Spirit, please. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. We have uh, two special prayers for today. And we've been praying throughout the pandemic uh, for special prayers. And I found this one on a Jesuit website. So it's strength for this challenging time. Dear Lord, we pray for your love and compassion to abound as we walk through this challenging season. We ask for your wisdom for those who bear the load of making decisions with widespread consequences. We pray for those who are suffering with sickness and all who are caring for them. We ask for protection for the elderly and the vulnerable to not succumb to the risks of the virus. We pray for, we pray for misinformation to be curbed that fear take no hold in the hearts and minds. And we exercise the good sense that in your mercy provide, may we also approach each day in faith and peace, trusting in the truth of your goodness towards us. Amen. Also, as we close this Thanksgiving weekend, we've got a beautiful day to do it, and the day begun with prayer, so it's gonna be a good day. We offer this prayer of thanksgiving. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this special day to remember your goodness to us. We thank you for a roof over our heads and for more than enough food to eat. We thank you for the relationships you have given us, <clears throat> for our friends and family and parishioners. We thank you for also for the bad experiences we've had. We learned that you were with us all the time. For all these things and the other gifts you have given us, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. We also pray in thanks for all healthcare workers, police, firemen, farmers, and first responders, all truckers and delivery people that keep our country going. We pray in thanks for our great country and our military who protects us. We pray for our good health and our family's health. We pray in thanks for the great progress on getting the vaccines, for all the engineers and scientists who make this technology possible, for our poets, musicians, and church volunteers, the improving health of Anna Madison, and for all our personal blessings and prayers answered. We also pray in thanksgiving for the healing of Don Estes, who's now returned to help lead the morning prayer service on Tuesday. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all you have made. We bless you for our creation, our preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. 
Amen. So if you could lead us in the prayer of St. Christendom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pastor Martyr, if I call upon you for a final blessing, please. Blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be and abide with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's service. <laughs>